Are you experiencing the imposter syndrome? This might be coming about because you're doing a huge life change, a career change, a 360 in your life. Midlife crisis, not not a divorce, just you're questioning your being on the planet and are, you want more. And it doesn't necessarily mean a big house, a larger car, a little jet. It means internally, mentally, spiritually, you're feeling, I got to be doing more with my life, don't I? <laughs> the imposter syndrome hits us when we start wanting these changes. What I believe is having an impact on many of us with the imposter syndrome is we're chasing money. We're chasing material goods. And that makes us question our choices in life. It makes us question what we want to do next. I am a big believer in having a mentor, a guidance counselor, even though I made a wrong step about nine years ago, I spent $18,000 on a vastly popular person to become a life coach. I hated it. <laughs> I really hated it. One of the reasons was because it was so focused on money. If you're doing a life change, looking for a new career, doing a 360, you want to find your why and your what. I met this person a couple weeks ago named Eric, has his own company, he's a business growth coach. He's very pragmatic. He's not telling you, if you sell my programs, you'll make $7,000 an hour. He will help you find your path to the what and the why. And that's also what leads to the imposter syndrome. We're not doing the basic research. When I was in the wine and spirits industry for 20 some odd years, I knew I, I knew I had to make a change. I didn't know my what and my why. I got sucked in by the money. And that's why you'll feel the imposter syndrome. Until you follow your passion, what would you love? And that's what the what is about. Until you discover that, I suggest you don't make a move. Stay exactly where you are. Find someone who can guide you, analyze your strengths. You don't need to know about your faults. This is not a constructive criticism situation. You want someone to analyze you and your strengths. And that's what I liked about Eric. We had a discovery call, which I also suggest you do when you're doing your research. Book a discovery call with a couple of people. Let them convince you of what your strengths are, what they see as an outside source. Because if you don't focus on your passion, if you don't focus on your existing strengths, you are going to feel that imposter syndrome. Eric's contact is in my details. I strongly suggest you do talk to him because here's a man who also did a 360. He was an actor. He was a voiceover. And the light bulb came off in his head, and he said, you know, I've, I've, I've had this glamorous life as an actor and a voiceover. I want to get more into my community, which happens to be in St. Petersburg, an amazing place to live. But do your research, because you will fall into the imposter syndrome if you're not following your what and your why. Kundalini yoga and meditation will also help you find your what and your why. In conjunction with talking to someone like Eric, who's going to lead you down path, the right path, give you guidance, will not cost you $18,000. That first call is always free, and maybe the subsequent calls will be free. The practice of Kundalini Yoga and meditation will also help you find your what and your why. I know this sounds woo-woo, but the fact that you are practicing these kinds of kriyas, these kinds of meditations, it produces the happy hormones naturally. When you have your happy hormones doing their happy dance, so many ideas come to your mind, so many possibilities that you can change your life without feeling like an imposter. 
Two links are on my podcast details. They always are. Hara Prakash, YouTube channel, free. The meditation, free. I also want to mention that in St. Pete Beach on Treasure Island, one of my favorite nonprofits, Soothe Our Souls, they take out people with physical and mental challenges. They take them out once a month for free on this huge sailboat. We're doing a fundraiser. But they also have started a full-blown wellness center. You can get anything from chair yoga to a sound bath. Oh, that's in my details also. Lastly, WIME. 750 newsletter I've been talking about for a while now. It's an industry newsletter, but it's really written for people who simply want to learn more about fine wines, fine spirits, but they also talk about small breweries. In this particular weekly newsletter, they talk about how climate change has an impact on farming hops. They talk about IPAs and how they're growing. Great. If you are a a small brewery fan, this is a great article for you. In addition, they talk about the mocktail industry. Your finer restaurants, your finer small bars, your boutique bars. I, of course, come from New York. There are millions of both of those. Have an advanced mocktail, no alcohol cocktails. When you're going to a beautiful place like this, you feel out of place if you have to have a Shirley Temple, right? (laughs) Or something, you know, grapefruit juice or whatever. The mocktail really levels up your dining experience. Just going out with your friends and ordering a non-alcoholic drink, you'll look at their menu and you'll see they'll have non-alcoholic drinks that taste good and they look like you're having a cocktail. So you're part of the group. Check out 750. It's free. It's a great little newsletter. To wrap this up, If you are suffering from the imposter syndrome, I can tell you it's because you're chasing money. Get control of your why and your what. The what is what would you love? And the why, I can tell you. Get into your community. Mary Morrissey talks about two of the five aspects when you're learning a new career, a new adventure. Two important things that I believe in. Does it serve your community? Does it serve you? Meaning, does it expand your life? Follow those two principles. Find someone to get some guidance from who can help you discover your why and your what. Kundalini yoga, meditation, produces happy hormones, brings in these wonderful avenues of ideas, creative juices. You don't get it watching the news, folks. Lastly, Really sign up for 750 Newsletter. It has no competition. There's nothing like out there. It's all information, short and sweet. You will love it. You will thank me for it. I'm Valerie Hill. I create this podcast on a weekly basis to help people create a blueprint for the life they would love. I also teach online courses in public speaking. It is titled The Fear of Public Speaking. Kick those thoughts to the curb. Details are on my podcast. Merci. Au revoir.